Hello, welcome back to another tutorial video. Um, last time I asked you what kind of um, material you'd like to see, and you said that you want to see top down um, textures, uh, a soil, rock, and sort of transitions in between. Well, this uh, setup that I've got here isn't immediately top down. I do believe that um, the techniques that I'm going to show you are still applicable for making your own textures in that and I think these kind of textures could also work in top-down um, so let's go to Photoshop so I'm gonna show you how to do rock, dirt, roots for uh, putting over them and then some alternative textures um, so I'm going to be using as usual the uh, Dawnbringer 32 palette if you google that you will find it uh, let's see so I'm, the colors I'm going to use for the darkest one is going to be uh, darkest color for the rock. It's going to be this color. I want to have a, a bit of uh, green in in the shadows, um, and then I will be using three shades of gray to have a good range to choose from, as I want to have the rock feel like a sort of shiny material. Um, if you remember from the last video I made the uh, the crate, I used four shades for for everything of the wood. Um, and that's because it is a, a, a more matte material than than like raw stone is. While maybe not not immediately realistic, it does give a good a good look to it. I think. So these are the shades. Um, then before we get into the actual texture, we, we want to know like what what does a rock look like that we want to make. So I'm just gonna make a little rock here. Let's see, I want to have this sort of shape. Um, so as you, as you probably, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I'm always following a few rules that the light is coming from the top left. You can choose your own light direction. Um, it, it doesn't really matter as long as you stick to it, that you have consistency in your in your overall work. Um, so first of all, uh, it is a rock with kind of a a flat top pointing up. So this bit is going to be uh, the the green. Cause, so there's a um, a cooler light coming from this corner and a warmer light coming from this corner because you see these grays are sort of in the the more warmer area, especially this one. Uh, so. I'm just gonna color this plane here. Don't want any black there. Um, then make half of it a bit lighter again, and then we want to have a bit of a highlight, like not too much. Just give it, give it an edge to it. Oh. Um, and then. This will be dark. So this is not like a, a finished kind of rock, but this is just to give us an idea of what we're what we're working towards. So we actually know what the um, what the pattern is supposed to look like a bit like this, like these kind of shapes. Um, so what you want to avoid when when doing this part. Is that you have um, like w rocks in a line like this, like rock, 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 because it is gonna give a, a really noticeable uh, pattern, and, and we want to avoid having our pattern be noticeable. Uh, and also, while you're doing this, you also need to keep in mind that you're gonna loop around. So this is gonna have a tiny bit sticking out here. A new rock should be forming here to connect to this bit I mean this here um, it can be that there's like smaller bits here like a smaller rock um, let's see we can we can adjust this later as well this is just to give it a, a, an outline something like this and then what I like to do is uh, take this go to uh, a new 
uh, file I go to view no go to filter other offset and then you can slide it around a bit just set it to something and then um, try to fix the shapes because now you've uh, you've offset it by a certain amount of pixels so you need to the, to fix the shapes a bit again make them a bit a bit round but not too much because we're still working with rocks here oh, I'm I'm nitpicking here on the on on the lines already which is not what I want to do at this point is just to have some some shapes to work with. Mm, that's not nice, is it? So it's okay to have like some bigger, darker spots. It's actually let's try to do that a bit more to create some more rounder shapes instead of these these weird pointy things. Because there is going to be shadow between the rocks. We're working with a palette after all. You can't have all shades happening at the same time. And after this we'll go over to adding some color to it. Wait, what am I doing here? Once I move it, I'll get to that. I think we're almost there. This is not. Ah, that's better. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Ooh. Let's not show you the end result there yet. That's <laughs> where I uh, do my preparation. It takes, uh, takes quite a while to prepare a video like this, <laughs> surprisingly. Um, so let's try to just recreate this rock. Oh, <coughs> sorry, just a second. Um, should have edited that out probably, but I, I'm not at that point yet where I edit. <laughs> just fill them all. That might be easier. So uh, today I got an email from YouTube that there's going to be some changes in regards to the demonetization. Um, you need a lot more viewers to actually have your channel be monetized which I guess is a bummer for many people but uh, mm, it could be a goal to work towards so what I'm doing here is um, sort of creating the, the edge where um, the corner in the rock is because after that I'll use the uh, the fill tool to just fill up the top half. I didn't catch them all. Um, let me... It might actually be easier to work here for a bit. So I'm gonna... Uh, every time this happens I do Control F to repeat the last filter that I used. Which is uh, probably quite handy. Otherwise you need to go to filter every time. Okay. That's looking alright, I think. Nope, that's the result. <laughs> uh, alright. So I'm gonna add this. So you can go two ways with this one. You can either make it curl like this, so you have an oval or you can go for a half moon kind of thing instead um, depending on what you choose it gives a different uh, shape to the rock this is a more um, flat, flat edge you're looking on, on and this is a more round edge you're looking at you could, if you go for this you could also do a bit like this but what you want to avoid is that you um, create like this um, they call it banding lines next to each other. It, it looks very messy and it doesn't have any meaning. 
um, in terms of shape. So I, I, I think I'm gonna go with uh, the half moon kind of thing, but again to avoid the uh, the single lines. Uh, no, not the half moon. The the oval, right? That gives a bit more of a sharp feel to the rock, and I I like that to have uh, have some sharp rock, especially because the dirt is gonna be very round and pillowy. Again, I could do this easier, but I by just drawing a line and then filling. to put the highlight on the rocks like you don't need to do the entire line you can also do the, the edges like this that it looks a bit um, anti-aliased I guess is the effect and or how, however you pronounce that I should know they taught me how to do a shader like this in school. Oh, no, that doesn't work here. Just close that one. Um, yeah, this one is in this one. I forgot this one. Right, so this looks very empty, right? Also, I feel like they're this one needs a bit more. Uh, I've made very large green areas in these compared to my example. Could actually cut some off. So this looks very empty because there's a lot of space in between the rocks. Um, and we're gonna add some smaller rocks there. Which is a uh, I'm gonna do it like this. Um, do I want to? I'm gonna do it like that. So just have some some little rocks in between. Some cool shapes. Um, now I need to check that they're not all aligning like that because that's not good. Also, so I don't want to have them too connected either. Also, maybe not have too many of the same shape like that. Oh, there's a lot of space here. So let's make a slightly bigger one. Oh, now I notice I'm, I'm missing um, a layer that I've been making on my example rocks, and that is uh, this layer. Yeah, that's looking nicer. I was wondering why it felt so unfinished. Is it? It's the this shadow needs to come back here because the other rocks are sort of overlapping over it. Doesn't need to be much, but I like to have some of it there. So you can be you can be very rough about this. We can we can go over the details later.
a lot of bad lines going on, but again, we'll get back to that later. Now, did I get most of them? I think so. This one. Let's fill in some more space. Interesting. Yeah, that will help fill up the space a bit. Just have them slightly connected. All right. So that could be my um, my rock shapes. They don't feel very round yet, though. Um, the half moon shape might be a better choice. Yeah, those those feel better. Okay, so this could be a um, a rock texture for a, a pretty rough wall with some uh, some light from the top left. Um, now, let's move over to the dirt. Um, for the dirt, I, I will have the same um, darkest color. Um, then I want to have these two shades. I'll keep it the two shades because um, dirt is very it's very unrealistic unreal material that we're using in, in games because um, would if you act if you look up what dirt looks like it's it is it is a m very messy and we uh, to represent that in a 32 by 32 texture you need to abstract it a lot so what I'm going to do is um, have very roundish shapes so it's uh, it's gonna look relatively pillowy, but I think with with the right sort of structure, it'll look pretty nice. And the structure I'm going for is a uh, how do I explain this? It's sort of um you know those breads that are sort of in a honeycomb shape together. That's sort of what I'm going for. So, oh. So. Let's just start in the middle. I'm going to be moving it anyway. So I make a center one, and then I make uh, six cells around it, as it were. I'm gonna separate them later. Some better lines. I don't actually want them to connect. Maybe here and there, but not immediately. You can always do that later. And have some space in between them. Yeah, like that can connect a bit. So then my shading in this is again going to be aimed to the top left. 
a little arc. So that is very much the the base of this whole thing, of the whole dirt. Let's go to this one again and move it over and add some more shapes to it. Some more cells of dirt, which is kind of weird, but... So sometimes you, sometimes this doesn't work out. This this cell making, and you just need to restart. Don't be don't be scared to just restart the whole thing. It's um, if you know if you know how to do it, it doesn't take that long. See a smaller one here. I do have to try that I don't make them too small. As I proceed to make this one smaller, I make this one a bigger one. All right, I think that's pretty interesting. So I've heard of some people actually using a drawing tablet to um, do pixel art. Um, I've tried this. I know how to handle a drawing tablet. I, I do some digital painting every now and then. But uh, for pixel art it doesn't seem to give me the accuracy that I want. Say no one of you actually use a, a drawing tablet. Let me know. It's, uh, I'd be curious how you do with it. So it's it's tempting to add another layer of highlight here, like this, but then you um, create a feeling that it is a very <laughs> round and reflective shape, and that is that is what we want to avoid. Um, so I'm gonna add some here, just in between. Also some uh, some loose dots here and there. to make it feel more grainy and, and less um, yeah less like their spheres now stuff like this you, you want to be careful with too that you're not making um, make this kind of lines which is how Photoshop makes them obviously or whatever tool you're using actually there might be settings around that but you, I, you either you want to avoid th this kind of shape. You either want to make it broader, the the line, or um, like if it's like this, you want to disconnect it. We're almost there. Some more grainy feel to it. Oh. Not sure how that can work if I put some. That might make it too messy if I put loose dots inside the dirt clumps. But this is a this is a pretty good pretty good dirt texture already. Shapes aren't great yet, but it's something that you just take a while to refine. Also it, uh, it looks a lot better um, once you 
see it as a texture. It, it, these aren't very well polished either yet, but they look pretty alright. Right, so what I want to do to make these a bit more varied, I want to have a um, a root layer to put over it, and also just to have as a as a as a texture that I can use. So I'm gonna make some roots, um, just some sort of root shapes. So the main thing when you're doing this is uh, you have to keep in mind that it's uh, obviously wrapping around. So what I'm doing here, this line goes here and then it connects to here. So it actually forms a, a, text, a, a um, pattern that wraps around. So these are the the base lines, and I'm gonna see like in the again the light is coming from the top left. Oh, I apologize for that. Touch my microphone. So the the highlights are gonna be in in the bends here and in those bends. I'm just gonna give it that tiny bit extra feeling of um, that it's it's an actual thing. Clean it up a bit. That's a. Uh, Take it to this. Fix it up. Make it a bit smoother. So that's one way to um, fix these kind of lines. Put some, uh, put a different color on it, on 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 the corner. It's a uh, good way to do that and make also give it a feeling of uh, depth. So I have these roots that sort of just end and I like to just put a put a dot at the end to feel like it's petering out there. What is happening here? This not this doesn't look nice. We have a bit of a root network like this. Then have some uh, lines coming off of it to make it a bit more detailed. This is not. That's not okay. This feels very straight. for this. Hmm. Just gonna redraw the line to be more curvy. Because roots are not straight. Roots are curvy. 
so these are some roots so um, what I can do is put it over the other ones no hold, hold on let's do it like this so I'm gonna take the rock and the dirt put it in my alternate slots take the roots it's actually not a nice that's better now put it on top color range select the background delete because I'm only I've only got the these roots selected now um, and then they're laid over the stone let's see if this works so I could do drop shadow make sure it's set to normal size is one no zero distance is one the um, the direction because my light is coming from the top left I want to put a shadow under it it's still doing something yeah because this is on so this gives us the feeling that the um, the roots are actually over the rock this is not perfect but it's a good start to work from obviously it's actually lightening this bit up which is not good So there's a, there's some manual work to this, but some automation here helps. Oh, what am I doing here? These are black. Let's see. Let's do the same. Oh, I should have maybe not merged that. Oh well. So, what I could do, oh, do the same thing, but I want to show you a different technique because this is just the same color that doesn't really work. So, what I could do is actually um, redraw um, the soil, the dirt in between the roots which will actually give a very nice effect I probably want to bring this to my other canvas so um, this will actually retain the structure of the roots and have the dirt show in between Uh, in between the the vines slash roots. You can you can connect these a bit, maybe not too much. But it does feel like it's uh separate shapes. So that's a lot better than just overlaying this over the uh, over the roots. Now this is this is very monotonous. So what we could do is um, actually bring some of this green because this is very a very warm color, and we could we could actually bring up some of the rocks in. Um, let's see. So this uh, maybe there's a 
this route is going like this because there's actually a rock on the right. Let's create some distance from that. See, this is already immediately um, breaking up much of the sameness. There's a, a little rock here. Do I want to make it that light? That might be too much. Do the same thing as we did with the with the dirt dots here. Have just have some some rock dots here and there. Now it could help to actually also bring that over to to the roots and then we can use the roots as a proper texture as well. Because as is it kind of looks uh, very samey again. Probably don't want to keep using the same shape. This needs some more distance. So I can do color range like this color, this color, this color. Uh, Shift Alt Select Copy Paste. Oh, but it's uh, damn. <laughs> it's one down. Um, No, that's 26, 26, plus 6, how much is it, oh, 32, 32, connect these, select this, select inverse, delete, now the rocks in, are in the right place. And I also wanted to make one with some leaves. Give it a feeling of um, that, that it's, it's uh, living roots. Um, now what I'm going to be using, let's see. So for some leaves I want to have this shape. I could go for a very verdant green like this. But that, that just, that doesn't look good. That sticks out like a sore thumb. We're going to use that color but um, as an absolute highlight like that um, and maybe also just this for darker now the way leaves look um, so this could be a leaf shape Do I wanna oh, so a leaf with a line in the middle this is very lined up I guess we can also have different shapes of leaves like this. Um, in this case, I'm I'm trimming some off, but still retaining the shape by using the darker color. Mm, not sure if I like that. That's that's better. So it feels like if this is all the highlight then it feels like this bit is really facing the uh, camera, as it were. But if we make it a bit darker, it feels like it's curving back. That's too much. Um, what I could do then is put a dot here to feels like it's curving around. Um, I'm gonna put the, these leaves in later. Um, let's see have one go like that mm. oh, that's better and uh, we have one up that way just 
just have one sort of down. Hmm. Oh, that. No, I. <laughs> I do that a lot. Use the background color. Um. Which works in my other project, but not here. So these are some leaves. Um. No. Because this one doesn't. Well, that works there. Give it a bit of distance, though. Or does this, this works well here? Perhaps this one can be here. Hmm. So now, now we have warm, we have um, cool of the rock, and we have some greenery from the leaves. Um, we do want to make sure that it feels like the leaves are actually connected to something. Just do this. Because otherwise it will just feel disconnected. There's a big open space here. Let's see if I can draw one. Alright, so we have uh, rock, dirt, roots, with stones, um, stones with vines over them, rock, uh, um, dirt with vines over them, and some roots with vines over them. Now you can also um, make the combination of this. Oh, that's dangerous though. Um, so if you were to connect, uh, were to try to combine these tiles. Um, you'll notice that they don't actually uh, tile if you use these. So I need to make sure this one aligns with the rest again. Which I will... Ooh, something missing there. Do like this. Reduce the... No, oh, reduce the opacity of this one. No, it's probably easier to do it like this. Right. Just put it here. Have it here. If I could just select 32 by 32. There we go. And take this one. And reduce the opacity and see here. There. Now I will make a 2 by 2 grid of them. Make sure they are all on 100% opacity, select the original one, and now it's aligned. Just fold it down, delete this. Um, so now they tile properly. Um, if you took them out. They don't seem to tile. Oh, because this one is wrong too. Alright. Fix that then. Reduce opacity. Oh, it's the same as, uh, as the roots, that's why. Merge. Put it there. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have merged. Oh, it's still there. Okay. So, in a way, these roots help the tiles um, transition without having actually having to use transition tiles. In a, these, these provide the, um, the repeating pattern. Um, then there was one more uh, pattern that I wanted to make. 
I want to combine rock and dirt. So I'm just gonna paint away some of the dirts. just repeat what we did earlier except not forget that there is the green shadow <laughs> at the top there <laughs> I don't like that it's so aligned with this one, but it might just be okay, especially if I move this down a bit. Um, and I definitely want to have some smaller rocks in here now. Maybe just some dots. So that way we also have a uh, helpful transition texture. Again we can put the roots on this to help uh, to give uh, some extra textures, so the um, it's really handy to combine tiles like that. Hmm. So I could make this one align a bit better, like that, to make it feel like they're actually connecting very well. There's always going to be this 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 little bit of um, clash between two, but I think that's largely accepted that it, it's just gonna happen sometimes. Um, and it, you don't really notice it that much. There's lines here and there, like here, especially, and then there's here. But it, it, it doesn't catch the eye that much because overall it does feel connected because it, it's using the same shapes uh, and especially the roots help tie everything together. Um, I think uh, we've reached the end for this tutorial then. It's probably a very long one. I, I thought about cutting it in, in fewer bits. Uh, if you've reached the end, uh, maybe you can tell me um, if you'd like shorter or uh, long videos as, uh, as this one. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And uh, hopefully I'll make some more videos. I do intend to. So... Hopefully see you then. Bye.